This is the equipment you're going to need to complete the osmosis practical with potato cylinders. You're going to need a potato, a measuring cylinder, five concentrations of sucrose solution, a test tube rack, five test tubes, a mass balance, a cork borer, in this case I've used a bit of a pen and a stick to push through the potato cylinders, and you're going to need a ruler. We're going to start by pushing the potato borer through the potato to make a cylinder and then removing the potato cylinder from the borer by using the stick to push it through. Now I'm going to cut the cylinders to make sure they're all the same length. I'm going to make mine approximately three centimeters in length. Now all of the potato cylinders are the same length. Next I'm going to measure 10 centimeters cubed of each sucrose solution and pour them into the five test tubes. I'm going to put the least concentrated solution into the left test tube and then gradually increase the concentration until we get to the most concentration in the right test tube. If it helps, you can label them. I'm going to start by measuring 10 centimeters cubed of the lowest concentration of sugar solution, which is zero molar. So this is just distilled water. And remember to measure these at eye level to avoid parallax errors. I'm then going to pour this into the test tube. And I'm gonna continue until we have zero molar, 0 0.25 molar, 0 0.5 molar, 0 0.75 molar and one molar sucrose solutions. I'm then going to use the mass balance to measure the mass of each of these potato cylinders. I'm going to record the mass in a table and then I'm going to put the potato cylinder into the solution and leave them there overnight for 24 hours. Okay, it's the next day. I'm going to remove each potato cylinder from the test tube. And then I'm going to pat it dry with a white paper towel just to get rid of any excess moisture. And then I'm going to uh, use the mass balance to measure the mass of the potato cylinder again and record the results in the table. To calculate the change in mass, we take away the mass of the potato cylinder before from the mass of the potato cylinder afterwards. So in the first one, we would take away 0 0.74 from 0 0.95 and it would give us 0 0.21. Because the potato cylinders started at different masses, it wouldn't be fair to compare the change in mass in grams. So instead we convert this to a percentage change in mass. So to do this, we divide the change in mass by the starting mass, and then we multiply this by 100. So for example, the first one would be 28%.